Hello everyone, here is your chapter six problem solution section. So um, remember what we have to do is we have to roll a six sided dice 20 times. We wanna use the randin function and then dynamically change the type of the uh, dice to a list so we can use something later, we can count something later. Uh, we then um, create a dice that we want to be our trick dice and we want it to only uh, land on uh, five or six. And this is like, we want to see if we can prove that this is significantly different uh, than the regular dice rolling it 20 times. Um, we want to read the NumPy documentation about what arrays are and how they work a little bit and have an understanding about what uh, arrays are compared to objects. We are going to want to concatenate our list at some point, our list some point into array objects after we count some stuff, uh, and then we want to uh, do our analysis. So let's just quickly look at what arrays are in Python uh, for NumPy. So it's you can see here that uh, it's saying that an n-dimensional array. So this means that uh, it's almost like a list of lists, but you can have more uh, more uh, granularity to the type of stuff that's going on within it. Uh, you have different array methods that you that you don't have with lists in uh, you know base Python. So some things here you can see array conversion manipulation. So this is like a list type, but it has a lot more going on. It's like an advanced list type that has so many other pieces of information and things that you can do, but some things that you can't do unless they're a list. So um, NumPy arrays are designed to be able to dynamically change to a list pretty easily because they they don't do everything the same as a, as a, as a regular list. So uh, remember our first task is that we wanted to use a rand in function to roll a regular six sided dice 20 times and then convert it into a list. So here is our function for, well, first off, we have to run, load our packages. We're gonna be using the stats package, obviously, and NumPy that I'm you know, shortening to NP. And then what we need to do is roll our dice 20 times. So that's how we use it in this function. We say, you know, do create 20 random integers between one and ending before seven. So one to six, okay? And then our trick, I'm calling this dice one or D1. Our trick dice, it, we're having only run uh, land on five or six because it's got some funny weighting in it, but also needs to be rolled 20 times because we want an equal sample size. I then create some uh, empty variables, uh, empty lists, because I want to count the amount of times D1 landed on one versus two versus three versus four and so on. So how I do that, and I create another one for dice two. And then what I do is I count each roll by just going through the numbers one to six and asking our list how, uh, you know, how many times did you see the number one? How many times did you see the number two? And that dot count uh, function will go through the entire list and summarize the amount of times any specific value occurred. So in this case, I ask it, you know, starting at one and going all the way up to six, how many times did one show up in D1 and append the, the, the total count to our dice one, um, list so this is going from one to six in an ordered or or in order and i do it for dice two as well you gotta be careful you got dice d2 and dice two here so the method is exactly the same except we wanted to do it on another uh, another thing or another another list which was our trick dice i then say hey uh, let's concatenate our list into an array numpy array object and the reason for that in this case is because our chi-square test accepts an array object. It doesn't accept a list. So we need to convert uh, our data into that. And we also need to concatenate our two, uh, our two lists together to form a list of lists, which is a two-dimensional uh, NumPy array, okay? So then we run this uh, uh, stats, uh, we run the chi-square basically. We have our concatenated dice, which is two lists, a list of lists, or a, you know, an embedded NumPy array. You can think of it as a list of lists. And we, uh, when we run our chi-square uh, independent analysis, we get our chi-square value, our p-value. This is called degrees of freedom. And then this variable that you don't really need to know about. These two are inconsequential for us at the moment. Uh, and we just wanted to know if, the, if this was statistic, uh, statistically significant. So if we print this, that should tell us. Okay, so what this number means, guys, is that 
it, it's uh, we have this number five point five three five zero two so on and so forth, but it's uh, followed by uh, it, it has four uh, leading zeros. So this actually means it's zero point zero 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 five three so on and so forth. That's what the e negative o five is saying. How many zeros are coming before the number? If this was e plus o five, this would be telling us how many zeros come after the number. Okay, so this is highly significant because we would need this to be e uh, to like point zero five, which would be e o one. So this is very 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 significant. So we could say yes. Dice two is definitely, definitely different than dice one and must be a trick dice. Okay, guys, that's it for chapter six answer. Um, thank you very much and see you in the next one.